Okay. Welcome everyone. Um, I'm Peter, Peter Halachi. You don't need to learn this, my second name, or uh, from Prezi. As I know you know about Prezi, you could see two presentations with Prezi um, this weekend. Um, so what I would like to talk about is how we use hacks, why we use hacks, and all our experiments. We started the project, the multi-platform project, this year, January. So we are really new beginners. Um, but maybe I hope I can share something useful with you. Um, so this is my presentation. Uh, uh, A bit about Prezi. What is Prezi? Um, let's start with some history. Uh, we started Prezi, the whole idea. Somebody asked me yesterday where this idea comes from. We started in 2001, 2002, or, or, or one of the founders uh, who is an architect. It was 30 lines of code uh, in Flash Editor. Um, when I started to use in 2007, I wanted to create a presentation, but I had to draw everything in Flash, you know, in the Flash authoring tool. It was painful, frustrating, annoying. Uh, so we decided that, hey, why don't we create an editor, the authoring tool for a Zooming presentation. Prezi is not, about, not just about this shiny, stunning animation. It's about how, how the editor works. We spend all, not all, but I, I believe 70% of our resources on, on creating the editor, the usability, the user interface, how people, not nerds, but real people can use uh, a software. So not designers, not, not programmers. Um, um, so we started. Yeah, maybe it's interesting. When we were thinking what to do, then we had three options at least. First, we, we, we tried to create a plugin for Inkscape. Who knows Inkscape? This is the open source, yeah. Uh, use SVG. It was 2007. It was so cool, the possibility to use SVG. Uh, or, or using OpenGL. That would have been a good decision. Um, or I don't know how to, sorry, mtask. Uh, we had a version with mtask. Then we decided to go uh, 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 with pure action script. In 2010, we, we also implemented Prezi in HTML5. Everybody, Steve Jobs went crazy, you know. And well, Flash is not the future. So everybody asks us, oh, what's your plan with Flash? I always answer, I'm not a Flash company. I work on an authoring tool. We use Flash because it's good enough technology. Um, but we, 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 we created first HTML5 version. We wanted to have an iPad application with CSS3 transition. We have a lot of experiment with uh, Canvas, even with SVG, a lot of things that we did. But we ended up with a native iPad application. So we have at least an online Flash version, uh, a desktop Adobe Air-based version, and a native Adobe, uh, iPad Objective-C. We also added real-time collaboration, so a lot of things. One, uh, we started in 2009, we launched with 100,000 users, 2010, 1 million users, and it's not official, so please don't tweet, but we reached 10 million users this week. So we have 10 million users. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so what is Prezi? Uh, uh, of course, we have our mission is to make idea sharing more fun. Because I believe even in the education, even in businesses, even in, on conferences, idea sharing must be fun. It's not a painful thing to communicate. Um, that's the mission, but let's talk about to engineers, from engineer to engineer. Um, it's like, 
so it's a mix. It's an authoring tool like CS5. Uh, it's a presentation tool like PowerPoint. Uh, it's a collaborative tool like Google Docs. Who uses Google Docs on real for real-time collaboration? When you edit, yep. yeah, we have this feature. It's a cloud-based application like Dropbox uh, or Box. It's a very, very interactive and really complex, like a CAD software. Uh, it, it has to have a high FPS animation like games. So we need to use the same techniques. It's, uh, here is, it's very important. It's not a casual game. Sorry, guys. We are not a casual game. It's not a perishable software. We need to use the same software in 10 years as well. So um, uh, I think it's important. And this is what I'm talking about now. It's multi-platform. It must be multi-platform uh, like Netflix uh, or Gmail. It just works everywhere. Um, Netflix works in the US, not everywhere. <laughs> uh, some numbers, random numbers. We have two offices. Uh, uh, roughly 400,000 lines of code. Uh, 78 running servers today, uh, $16 million investment. I'm re we are really proud that TED, the TED conference is invested in Prezi. Uh, Excel Partners, which is one of the biggest uh, investor in the Silicon Valley. Uh, we have 67 employees today, and it's important. We have 23 uh, open positions for this year for engineers. So we are hiring. Um, in Europe, that's the most challenging part. Um, no, everywhere. Um, so that's Prezi. Um, and what is multi-platform? What does it mean for us? Uh, about the vision, we would like to have make available these kind of presentations available everywhere. And it's really important, exactly the same visual. Sorry, this is my phone. Uh, exactly the, uh, the same visual experience everywhere. And this is my wife. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Um, we also believe that presentations Today, I like what I'm doing right now. It's monologue. People present a lot of people. Uh, and please listen to me carefully. Uh, but sometimes we work together on the same document, and, and it's usually very, very frustrating. Uh, lot of versions, lot of uh, issues. Uh, but what we would like to do is the present meeting um, when people can collaborate on the same canvas, and we don't talk about presentation anymore, it's just like a whiteboard. Uh, she really wants me. Um, uh, it's like a whiteboard. We can collaborate. Sometimes we collaborate real time. Sometimes we collaborate not to real time. So uh, 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 I start a presentation, then you finish it, and things like that. Here is a widow. And yes, the sun doesn't work. Uh, uh, this is a video that we created the present meeting, uh, and and uh, in schools, uh, kids started to use to work on projects together. We believe that this product, the present meeting, like Google Docs, is good for collaborating people collaborating. Uh, from different spaces or different locations. And as you can see, they started to use Prezi for creating, I don't know what, how we can call these posters or something like that. Uh, they don't use a uh, presentation tool anymore. And of course, they want to use iPad for the same. Uh, here is a video from 2007. This is the first version of Prezi on a big, big, big multi touch screen. You know, this kind of, that's the future, some people believe. Uh, or here is another video, the iPad version. This is the Flash version. 
exactly the same almost, and, and you can, the real-time collaboration, so automatically works, there is no connection between them. Um, so we would like to have an Android version, iPad version, native Windows, mobile browser, uh, uh, desktop browser, Flash, Stage 3D, PDF output. And one thing, I believe HTML and JavaScript is not one platform. Because we know that on, on, on this browser, the Canvas is good, and the CSS uh, on iPad, the CSS transition has hardware acceleration, but in Explorer, not. So <clears throat> What I would like to see is exactly the same presentations uh, uh, collaborating. This is very important. There, there must be no differences. Do you remember the presentation yesterday? Uh, um, which one? Cocktail. Yeah, the cocktail. There were just slight differences between the Flash and the HTML version. It's good enough for some application, but it's not good enough for Prezi. Why? Maybe because there's one pixel difference between two versions, but when you zoom in, you multiply that error with 100 or 10,000. So huge differences on a zooming canvas. Here is some example. Open Office, open document format, uh, specification open on three different platforms. What's the difference between them? Hmm? Yeah. Just the minor differences between text rendering engines. And you can see 737 pages on one platform, 719 pages, the same specification. That's a standard. Uh, with OpenOffice, Sun, Oracle, a lot of money. Uh, so they can do it. Um, the same problem on the browsers. Uh, so if you put the same uh, uh, text uh, uh, out on, on different browsers, you see slight differences. Um, so this, this is the problem, and how can we solve this problem? I believe there is three different solutions or strategy. One is different teams, different code bases for every platform. Uh, and maybe we end up here. I don't know. We will see. Maybe we have to do it. Nobody wants to do it, but maybe we have to do this. There is the right ones run anywhere. This is what Flash, NME, Java, everybody promised this. No. Uh, I have an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I'm happy to discuss it, to try to use JavaScript everywhere and embed V8 and WebKit in nat native iPad applications. Um, maybe the JavaScript is the future. But what we decided to generate specific code, and here is three. Uh, uh, possibility one is use hex, you know that. The other is use LLVM, Alchemy, uh, Mscripten, who knows Mscripten? It generates C JavaScript code from C. Uh, or Adobe really wants us to use ActionScript. They believe ActionScript is the multi platform language. Uh, you can use for native iPad, you can use for AVM2. There is no JavaScript output. What do you think? Why doesn't have JavaScript? Why Adobe doesn't work on JavaScript output? Because basically, the way ActionScript is built is not uh, JavaScript and ActionScript. I just on there one has a DOM system and one has a display list. System. So they can do it. They could do it, but you would have to have a completely different display list system built in Flash for it to export. It's they are it's like comparing apples and pears. You just can't. So the thing about Hex is it's, it's not trying to be a language with own specification. It can, it's a cross-compiler, so yeah. it doesn't have the same issues. Uh, Flash is, the display list is built into the language, and you can't rip that one. Yeah. Sorry. I, I have another conspiracy theory. Uh, uh, never believe me. Uh, uh, 
I believe they go for the casual game market and nobody plays casual games on mobile browsers, so they just don't care. They believe on the desktop, Flash will be always available, we will see, and on the iPad and on the mobile, people use native app to create games. Uh, so they just don't care, I believe. Um, So for that, we our biggest problem, so yes, we decided to go with Hex today. We will see. We can always change. Uh, the biggest issue was the portable code. Of course, I started this company. I was the first coder. I fucked up. I admit here, uh, it, we will delete from the web. Uh, I, I was, uh, yeah, you know, it was a quick prototype, then it turned to be serious. Then we had 10 million users. So uh, the problem is that, that we mixed Flash API, you know, Sprite, Shape, things like that, Point, our core business logic or the document model, and or, or loading. And, and here is an here is, uh, example. So this is the original code for a uh, handwritten uh, 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 curve, what we call a marker, and in the same class we have how we draw the marker and how we do some magic, you know, like calculating the points of the Bezier curve. So it, it was just bad code. So we had to refactor and separate, isolate uh, the platform specific, the drawing from, from the math and loading and document model. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. So I should stop here. Um, so what we do, uh, this is the agile refactoring uh, uh, process. In Prezi we say we have two rules. No second version. We never stop. So. 20, 30 developers working on new features, the car is running, and at the same time, another team rewrites everything and ch changes parts by parts uh, 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 without stopping the team. Because we, we are on the market, we can't stop. If we stop, Google will come and create their own Zazzy, I don't know, G, G, whatever. So commit every day. Uh, and working code, and this is what we do. We refactor action script, we refactor, no, we write test, of course. I promise, I write test every day. Uh, we refactor the one code, refactor, so one class in the action script, does it work? Uh, the iPad, we create a hexa code, uh, this is a portable, this is a multi-platform code, and we continue. So we already refactored or created 10,000 lines of hex code. In the um, so let's talk about hacks. What we found. That's what you are interested in. Who cares, Prezi? Um, we have two kind of issues. One is hacks for big application, big companies. Oh, okay, I'm not a big company. That's IBM. Um, you know, just 20, 30, 40 engineer working together. And is it really a multi-platform development environment or not? So let's see. Of course, we have this very painful us, the missing tools. I know there are a lot of tools and really appreciate what I would like to say here. I'm happy to invest in this part. If anybody wants to create tools for Hex platform, we support with, I don't know, with, with money, with office, with computer, I don't know what you need. Because we need code analysis tool, we need debugging, we need better idea. Okay, is anybody here to work on this kind of projects? Okay, let's talk. Uh, so this is very important for us. Uh, the other, um, just some example, not big issues, some example, platform specific compiling. We already sent this to, to the list and, and uh, that hex float becomes C plus, in C++. You know, we use hex to generate JavaScript, to C, 
and action script. The float uh, becomes double. Um, what I'm talking about, this is the hex code. It's easy. And this is the C code. So why is it problem? 10% slower. Uh, yeah, so because we use an iPad and it's a very performance heavy calculation. So what we need uh, a float there. I don't know, this is a question. I, yeah, I'm an ex OCaml coder. I know how OCaml solved this problem. Maybe Hex needs some functors or functors. I don't know, but we need. So I don't know if that's the best solution to have a compact time switch. I don't know. Yeah, you could, I guess you could try for uh, check your performance. See if it's yeah. Or not. That was one uh, issue. So I'm not sure. Are we? So I ask you guys do you think we are prepared? How many other? Issues like this, we are going to have. And <laughs> hmm? <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay, this is the other topic, uh, more interesting. Uh, multi platform event handling. Uh, everybody uses dispatch event, you know, Flash. Um, uh, there is three solutions for event handling. One is the real event handling, what we know from uh, 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 action script. Can you see that? You know this. This is flash kind of events. What's the problem with this? A hex developer should must hate it. It's not strictly typed. Not strictly typed. Yeah. Uh, do you hate this? Uh, interfaces. This is other solution. Java programmers love it. Who uses this technique? One and the Prezi. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's a bit long, like every Java application, so you need to type a lot. Uh, they are paid for that. Uh, and the other is the closure. <laughs> Who likes this? All functional coders. My friends. <laughs> brother. <laughs> yeah. So what's the problem with it? No, no problem. No problem. <laughs> uh, hex supports type safe callbacks. Thank you very much. It's very, very important in a proper language, not like Python, JavaScript, you know. Uh, so this is this is uh, yeah this is how it looks like in hex. The only problem is it's very slow on AVM two. So calling a function. So if you pass a function as a parameter to another function and calling back that function, it's slow. So we can't use for camera movement and things like. It's okay for click and and interactions, but not for camera or, or um, very, very frequent events. So I don't know. I don't know what's the solution, because do I need to choose the wrong model, the Java-like model, to support Flash, or I should forget Flash, because ABM2 doesn't <laughs> handle its closure. What do you think? Sorry? Maybe they can't. You have to ask Adobe to do their work. <laughs> yeah, but I can't do that. They don't care, Prezi, sorry. <laughs> what exactly did you test here? Just calling a yeah. a, a anonymous function? Or a exactly what we tested. Function? The same function called, the same function is called in three different ways. One is when we call the function, that's the direct call. Uh, the second is class method. class method. That's the runnable call. And the fun call is when we say uh, flash that var f function equals to the function. 
and you call the function variable. I, I really hope that this measurement is wrong. I really hope. Uh, because if, but if, you, if you call it the, the function directly, not with reflex dot uh, uh, call method, the speed would be much better. Uh, this is not reflect. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 I think the numbers are about right. I think they are, yeah. That's about right. They are. It's three times slower. It's just it's slow. Slow. Yeah. 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 about right. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. Anyway, my point here is that, you know, if I choose one programming paradigm or a model, I expect to work everywhere. Uh, uh, and I can't optimize, you know, have a flash based event model and the iPad based event model. That's not a multi platform. That's a lot of if in the code. That's not a multi platform. Um, Enemy, flash limitations anywhere. <coughs> Sorry, uh, uh, I we won't use enemy. Sorry about that. We can support enemy. We have a lot of common goal, and why not? Non type safe event handling uh, in enemy. Uh, the flash display list API is not low level for Prezi enough. That's our problem. Enemy is a great and very, very important uh, uh, module, but not for Prezi. And it's not pixel perfect. It has just the same problems uh, uh, as other. So this is HTML5. What is the application? Put a dot on a fixed position and put a string in a fixed position. The same string everywhere. And uh, the dot is there, or the string is the string is different, or, or the text is on different uh, place. Uh, there, or here. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So this is the HTML5 versus Flash. Almost. Unfortunately, we can't have this in the iPad uh, or, or in Prezi. User will call us tomorrow and hey, my, I created my presentation here and I did a zooming effect to zoom in in the middle of a O, letter O, and it's just the wrong position. So that's, that's enemy. Uh, but uh, we would like to invest in our own text rendering. And right now, I tell this community, we will give it to the community. If you want to use a hex, I don't know what is this, I'm not ready, a hex-based text rendering, multi-platform text rendering, which generates exactly the same output on every platform, we are really interested in this. That's, that's one of the biggest issues for Prezi. Unfortunately, Flash is really good in that. It just works. Um, so that's enemy, uh, that's hex. Uh, and I believe I'm ready. So questions? <laughs> Clearly you have to uh, rewrite entirely uh, text rendering. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah. And uh, you have one engine which can be Yeah. And as I know, it's not easy. Uh, unless you're using either, uh, Flash Air, which those have the same engine everywhere, it's... No, because we would like to have a JavaScript version. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. a, that's yeah. the point. That's, that's what I meant. Unless yeah. you use Flash, which comes with each. Yeah. You are right, correct. And the problem with JavaScript is you really only lose the canvas for tech, pixel perfect text because all browsers have different text rendering engines. Yeah. They don't give you the, because the issue you've got is the curl, the curl of the fonts. You can't control 
from where the point is to where the text starts in all the positions. Uh, so Canvas really is your only option for doing HTML5 stuff, really, uh, because the font is yeah. just found in the browser. So I, um, why do you have linear scaling? Sorry? Why do you have like um, a linear grid scaling? Can you not have um, um, something whereby obviously if the O is in a different place, you just have the you have a system that changes depending on where the O is? So actually, instead of worrying about text right, rendering perfectly, it's, it, the, the actual application copes with the where the text actually is. So it's, it's not just there. about where the text is, how big is the text, how wide, how the height of the text, everything can change. OK, I have some details. That's why Prezi is a good, uh, uh, where is it, if I find. OK, I won't find it. You know, kerning is different, line width, everything can be different. Every parameter can be different. <laughs> different. Um, yeah, so we, we've, we've solved it for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just run it server side, generate a massive bitmap, transmit back a small portion of it, it's all going to be fine. Good idea. <laughs> Google Maps works yes, like this. You just tile it, you just got to use the Yeah, the problem is, I like the idea, but I mentioned Prezi is an editor. So how can I generate server site when I use like this? And I would like on your iPhone see exactly what you can see on this projector. So I need to send it to the server side, render it, and send back to your iPhone. Just on that portion is fine, yeah. And zooming these Yeah. I think I leave this for the competitor. <laughs> yeah, it's a. And uh, I forgot to mention, I really like this idea. We, we were thinking about a lot of times. It would be so easy. We, I can fire a lot of Flash developer <laughs> and hire a lot of PHP. It's cheaper, you know. <laughs> and no type safety anymore, so we don't need to care. Um, unfortunately, we make money. Uh, we are a cash flow positive company, and I believe uh, we make a lot of money from making this available offline. So we have a desktop version, and people love to pay for not being on the cloud. But if I wanted to sell the company to Google, that's the best, I think. <laughs> we can do it. What do you use of X? Oh, sorry. What do you use of X? So right now, what are you using X for exactly? So exactly, oh, sorry. Thank you for the question. <laughs> um, so what we did, you know, uh, here is a Prezi. Uh, and I don't know what's going on. Of course, it crashed. Anyway, this is the Flash version of the Prezi. And what we did is we rewrote the whole document model, you know, like frame, arrow, image, text, the rendering in hex. So what we have today, and this is the first time I show, we have an HTML canvas viewer. And this is, this is exactly the same Prezi almost if Kai would have finished his job. Uh, <laughs> uh, and this is a HTML version, and it works. Created in Flash, because the editor is not ready in Hex, uh, and loaded by a Canvas viewer. <laughs> so this is a Hex code. I mean, generated 100%, yes. And it's really smooth. One more. One more. <laughs> uh, without any optimization, we finished this literally before the launch, uh, this version. Because, you know, our, our goal was to create the multi-platform version. And the game in the company is that I don't tell to the team 
which platform we are going to implement. Either it's Android, either it's a Canvas, because they have not to focus on the Canvas on the Android, but focus on the multi-platform version. So we figured out two weeks before the conference that, hey, let's do a Canvas version. And thanks to Hex, we could do this in two weeks. Uh, It's all custom code. Am I right? <laughs> I don't know what was the question. Then the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, and it's not optimized, and we have the same problems uh, like on iPad. So we will add a lot of optimization for the rendering, and I'm happy to provide everything what we do to this community if you can use, like, you know image cooling, like what to render, what not to render, things like that. Basically, today the iPad code, because that's the second version, is better than the Flash, because we had to do a lot of optimization. And on Flash made us so lazy at the beginning. Then it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> so, other question? Ten million calls every second. No, I don't need. I don't need. I don't. And uh, no, the benchmark is we use ten million to have a valid and significant result. The result is that two times slower. It's not because ten. We call it ten million times. It's two times slower to use that. Does that really affect the performances of the? Yes. If we if we call, I don't know. Uh, on every frame, we give an event to every object to change your behavior based on zooming. Then it's f number of frames per second multiplied by objects. I don't know. It can be a lot. Then that's the case to use an interface. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And higher Java coders, which oh. <laughs> You can probably speed up the development using a macro that will make the interface or something like that. Good idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Okay. So my question is, after the talk, how can we help? So how can we help the Hex community? I really believe in Hex. I think it's very, very important. Really good job. Really appreciate it. We use it. We will make money uh, from Hex. It's a big, big, big business, the Prezi. So we are happy to give back anything to the community if it makes sense. So we are really interested in tools, everything which is about software engineering, not like the compiler, about the multi-platform development and text today. But we're going to have different problems three months later. So we are here. Thank you very much. Thank you.